Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 5. Jesus has just called Matthew Levi to be one of his disciples, and he, he rose up and immediately left everything to be one. Now let's see what we have next. So we're at verses 29 to 32. Then Levi gave him a great feast in his own house, and there were a great number of tax collectors and others who sat down with them. And their scribes and the Pharisees complained against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered and said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Oh, now there's some interesting business here going on. How many sinners uh, are there out there? Well, I guess like every one of us. Every one of us has chosen to act on our self-inclined impulses, and we've all become sinners. We're all guilty before God. We all are guilty before heaven. We need salvation. Without the pre precious gift of salvation, we would be lost. We would be toast. Done. Jesus came not to call the righteous. And here are some who think they're so righteous, right? Saying, why are you eating with those tax collectors? Why are you eating with those nasty people? Because some of the people that hung out with the tax collectors weren't the most savory people in their culture. Why are you hanging out with those people? You're not pure like and, and separated like us Pharisees, right? Well, but Jesus is saying to them, you know what? Maybe you don't understand it because you think you're so righteous, but I came to call people who recognize their need toward forgiveness and healing. It's the ones that need it, he says. Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Well, those who think they're well think they have no need of, of a physician. But people who are sick, yeah, they all pretty much know they need some help. Friend, do you recognize that you and I are sin-sick persons? We're persons that have gone against the King of Heaven. We need to repent. We need to get on our knees, get on our faces before Him and ask Him, plead with Him. Please give me a desire not to sin. Give me a desire to be forgiven. Give me a desire to come your way and receive his gifts that will take us his way. So friends, some things to think on here. Uh, I don't know how many people that were there got that. A lot of them probably weren't able to hear that. They were so, so full of self-righteousness, they were actually blind. May you and I though, however, may we be people who can see our need and receive the help that God has for us. Let us give thanks to Jesus for this. Dear Father in heaven, now Lord, thank you that Jesus came for those who are ill. We recognize our illness. We recognize we have sinned against you. We are guilty and we need forgiveness and we need you to change our hearts. Do, Lord, change our hearts. Thank you that you're giving us some amount of discernment so we can actually see our need. Lord, we pray for others, loved ones, friends, connections, neighbors who have no sense of need. Lord, work for them by your Holy Spirit. Help them to begin to understand better who they are, what they are, and who they need. Now, Lord, we thank you for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. May God's blessings be with you also today.